Everybody said, don't yank your suspension apart. You gotta drive that to work tomorrow. Well, I went ahead and did it. I got the center roll adjusters here. This. It gives you 11 millimeters of width. And um, a negative two camber. Uh, it's offset. See, it just kind of kicks it out a little. I don't know. But anyways, yeah. I'll have it back done here in a minute. I'm going to lower the front a little more to match the back. The front's about a half inch higher than the back. Can't have that. But anyways, yeah. I always tear it apart and put it back together before the evening time. I also took off my windshield tent. I had all the way down the front window. It was just all the way down the windshield and it's 5%. I'm probably gonna take all the tent off and do it like an old orange see-through, like the old gassers or the old muscle cars. Probably do like a see-through orange. I think that'd be real cool. But anyways, let me get back at it so I can get my suspension back down and get it sitting even this time lower the front down another half inch this side's done except for lowering it this side will be done in about 10 minutes you I went through the process the first time and didn't realize you had to put these in first or you couldn't get to them so I had to take the other side back apart um, I'm gonna take it back apart put new ball joints all my tie rod ends are new, but I'm gonna do the the little mod for a wider turn for drifting, you know. Look how wide that space is. All for. But I'm gonna order the fender roller and we're gonna roll the fenders and get a little more girth. I might put slip on spacers now. Just a little bit all the way around after I roll the fenders. Anyways, like, comment, subscribe. We're gonna get y'all some more content real soon. Sorry about it. It ain't been too good, but we'll get y'all some more.